Hey everyone, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to Ever Crisis. We're going to talk about the new update that just dropped, level 80, Coliseum, new events, double farming, tons of stamina pots. You guys better have it all ready to go because there's a lot of content to do and I'm actually really glad about this. Kind of like all over the place. I stayed up till 5.30 a.m. in the morning yesterday playing Weathering Waves. Amazing game. I'm loving it. But they both dropped the exact same time, which was 10 p.m. Eastern. Weathering Waves was an hour earlier, and I was so conflicted by playing both of them. Uh, we attempted to do <laughs> the uh, co-op, the critical co-op. Me, Serge, and uh, Gong, and we've always been clearing content uh, when it came to this critical threat. Even John Batista as well, but we didn't get to play with them this time. Uh, but we tried the co-op and holy man, it was a beat and a half. So we put it to the side. I'm going to go back to this later on and probably make a video about it because it is a pretty straightforward strategy. You just need the right mechanics or weapons in order to do it. So I'll talk about that as we go. <clears throat> For now, let's go through all the notices and talk about what's happening in the game. So first off, the first notice is the Coliseum. The Coliseum is brand new. There's three uh, sorry, I'm going to call Coliseum, but it's a Battle Tower Coliseum, and I think it's pretty cool. If you guys really pay attention here, let me switch my camera, you guys are going to notice that these new Battle Towers, also the animation where you're climbing the tower, it looks really awesome. So, going up and down on each one of them, even the new ones, looks really, really cool. Very, very clean as you go through the tower. But, you're going to notice at the end of each uh, Battle Tower, there's a boss. This one has Ifrit... And you can only use the characters Cloud, Barret, Tifa, Red 13 in this tower. Then you got this tower that if you make it to the end, you're going to have Shiva. And then, of course, the last one having Ramu. And I thought this was pretty cool that if you think about it, every single character here, Cloud was an ice build if Fritz in his tower, right? Then you come over here, uh, Zack had a water build. You've got Ramu over there. And then you come over here, Zack had a fire build in the limited banners for all these characters. And over here, he's got Shiva. So everyone's limited banner during that limit break banner, uh, their corresponding outfit and weapon does go to each tower. So that's going to help a lot with clearing the content in here, especially when you reach that final 30th floor. So if you have ice limited banner, cloud, Zack, fire, uh, Zack, sorry, fire costume, or you've got Glenn over here. Obviously, uh, Sephiroth had that magic non-elemental, so on and so on. But it's cool to see that they kind of coordinate that with that. I tried off the first floor in each one just to see how it was. And uh, you can just recommend a party. If you just go in here and you have one of yours all set up. So let's just go number one. And they're not the proper characters because it says not illegible. Well, this one says illegible. But let's go to number two. You'll see like not allowed, not allowed. Or this one over here, not allowed, not allowed, not allowed. You can't start the quest unless you use the right uh, characters. If you push recommended, they'll give you the right characters and gear them up to some extent. So if you're a little lazy and you're super powerful and you have a lot of good weapons, you can do this for the first couple of floors instead of trying to build everyone right away. So I took the lazy approach and I complete each floor once uh, for a couple of things because there is missions at the moment, campaign missions. If you use a character, you get 10 tickets for that specific character. And also if you completed the battle tower first floors, you get more gotcha tickets. So tons of gotcha tickets. In the mail, there was gotcha tickets. So you guys should be giving a ton of gotcha tickets. Five star guaranteed any character for soldiers, Sephiroth, right? I'm just stockpiling these until I really, really feel that I need to pull for them or a specific weapon goes in. I like to save my tickets these days, including my blue crystals. Um, but the Coliseum one is really cool. Uh, if it does get difficult, I'll definitely do a guide on it, especially on my no overboost account because that one's a little bit more relatable than my god free to play account I have right now. This thing's been fantastic. I haven't pulled in forever and still passing all the content. Um, which gives like you new players or players who are just coming in for a couple of months that motivation that you don't have to swipe your credit card or try really hard or pull for every single character. I use the same characters for almost the beginning of the game, which is very nice to have in these kind of gotcha games. Um, but yeah, starting off was that uh, Coliseum update. Uh, next is the level 80 characters. So with this, I got some numbers crunched on this, which is really nice. Uh, this is going to take you from 70 to 80 in your grow stream. This is going to take you over 100 stamina pots on like the farming cactar stage over and over and over again in order to unlock all these nodes up here. And now we have ourselves a new memory crystal. So if you click here, uh, let's see one of these. We're using your standard cloud memories, right? 
there's a new one just like uh, Shiva, Leviathan. Inside that tower, you're going to be getting yourself the new memory crystals. So yes, old memory crystals are still very viable. You don't need too many new of the new one. I think it's like 220 noble ones, but you can see here we're now gathering noble. And on the battle tower, if you guys go through all this, there's a bunch of draw tickets. So this is really nice. Orichalcum, uh, you've got gotcha gold tickets, ingots here. So there's a lot of good rewards. Like this tower is very, very worth it. Where the first original tower was only memory crystals. So it wasn't really too exciting. It was nice to get that boost and you needed it. But in the end though, that first tower is just your generic starting tower. This one actually gives good rewards. But these new... Tifa, Noble Memory, all the Noble Memories are going to be used for level 75 plus in the growth stream. So once you make level 75 and you're able to go to that, ne that next page, you're going to be spending quite a lot. Somewhere around like 300 and 300 plus Normal Memories. I remember I went through this, I forgot to write it down, I had the numbers over here, but you're going to need like 300 plus of these Memory Crystals plus 200 plus of the noble ones to complete the full uh, stat stream. There is a new limit break upgrade there as well, I believe. So looking forward to that level two increase, which is pretty cool. That is gonna be the battle tower. Pretty straightforward. Get through those 30 floors, get a bunch of good rewards, including draw tickets, free summons are always good, and the new nobles to increase your character's growth stream to make him just a little bit stronger. 70, 80 is a big jump, and that's gonna be quite enough to like increase your party by uh, a, a big margarine that it will actually make a difference in some of the combat. So, Battle Tower plus a Growth Stream increase is really nice. And to top all of that off, we do have the Golden Bomb Rush. So, in the Golden Bomb Rush, there's a really good way to get character experience. Uh, I've already did this on this account a little bit, just a first clear of everything. And it turned out pretty good. The shop was almost done to my extent of liking because I got all the draw tickets. So I got the gold draw ticket, purple, and the normal ones while just doing the first clear of everything. And you can see I have over almost 2,000, so I can grab the standard ones here, a bunch of these, and that's only from first clearing everything. Then you're going to use the same gold ones to get all the memory crystals, and then they have your generic stuff down here. Uh, judging by the date of this ending, June 9th, there's going to be another shop, so don't do, go too crazy on purchasing the things down here. Because if these ones carry over to the next shop, they might have better things than these, right? These aren't really worth it, but in this sense, 900 pieces kind of makes sense. Because of the new growth stream and how much it costs, instead of spending stamina farming these, you just purchase them here. I'm looking forward to this because I am broke when it comes to gill. So, bomb rush, pretty straightforward. All I gotta do is bring that sigil break, and when it comes to the big high, uh, wind guy, non-elemental really helps, but if not, bringing those two different characters, different elements also does it. I'm gonna bring in uh, probably a showcase video for this one. If you go look at my channel, I, I believe I cover the old one, because this event has come back, or was originally in the game, and it just came back, and it has the same exact setup, the same enemy. So I probably have a guide out there already. If I don't, I'll make a new one for that. But the Golden Bomb Rush, really good way to make sure you guys farm some free experience is there's a daily one. You can see zero out of one. If you do this, you do get a ton of experience, 777,777. So the characters you bring into this daily quest, make sure you guys are not capped at level 80, right? This is a really good way to get experience. And then you just farm the one over and over again for 76,000 if you like and you're good to go. So this is the stage 11. This is where it's going to take you over 100 stamina pots, and you just keep doing this as much as you need to for each one. But do these daily ones first, right? Calculate that 777,777 experience, and then start doing these. So you can save these to the last day if you want to, or wait for the new quest coming out as well. As for co-op, pretty straightforward. Just bring in a sigil breaker, and you're good to go. All right, it's just the bomb. So bomb rush, experience grind, do it now while this here, because this is a very good way for players that are not day one players or haven't been playing too long. This is a very good way to catch up your characters. Farm that event, that's solid experience. You don't have to worry about RNG for Cactar. So golden bomb rush is probably one of my favorite things. Besides that golden Cactar event we had where we were able to farm a bunch of gill. Like, I wish I abused that a little bit more. I didn't. I was like, ah, oh, who needs all that gill? I need the gill now. I need it. I'm broke. I need it so badly. So hopefully we'll see a golden cactar event coming up soon. 
Uh, the new difficulty of the other vent is out now, like I talked about in the beginning of this video. And uh, I did go through it on all the solo stuff. Again, if you don't know, most of these events come out with the daily. So you can see stage 11 over here has 0 to 1 clears. And you get really good rewards for this as well. Uh, the rewards are your upgrades to get to your weapons for 100 and 110. So make sure you guys are doing this. And the other one is here as well for the other version, right? The purple ones or the pink ones. So make sure you guys are doing those two dailies on this event and the one daily for now on the bomb event. As for this guy himself, he's a pain in the butt, but he's not super difficult. I got him down to a quarter HP uh, with a very basic setup. I'm gonna show you really quick. And all of it is that I had to switch back and forth a little bit quicker. Yeah, I'm using this team right over here, which has uh, Aerith doing the wind resist down. I've got a barrier on Tifa to deal when she gets single targeted. I take the barrier, take those debuffs off me. Aerith's got a single clear Kira over here, and I'm going to heal whoever's being targeted. In this case, my Tifa gets targeted, so I'll play in manual mode, use the barrier to take away the big debuffs he does, cure her, and then cure the team once he gets stunned or anything like that, and Cloud is doing pure DPS over here. Uh, I use my limit breaks that during that phase where he's charging up his meteor, he's gonna try to attack the character over and over and over again. I use my limit breaks to interrupt interrupt that, and that way I get through through good healing, good barrier replacement. If I had Cloud's Bandage Sword, I'd use that, lower his damage, but make sure the entire party's defense is up. Or you can use Barret as a healer and bring in Red 13 with this Canyon Caller instead, or the one that lowers Wind Resist. Uh, Kate Sith has Wind Resist down as well. This is the biggest key factor to this. Something that lowers Wind Resist is gonna really, really help. Um, so yeah, I got that to about a quarter HP and then I screwed up and I'm like, I'll do this later because I'd rather make this video and get that out now and then make that separate video for a guide. But just to give you a little bit of a touch there. So the chosen campaign, like I talked about, right? We got a bunch of blue crystals. There is that special shop chosen special pick. Um, honestly, no, not worth it. Save your stuff, right? Mithra or ingot, you're going to get them through events. They're going to become more of um, just... You're, they're gonna stock up, right? Sure, there's always like that, oh, I want more, I want more. But again, I'm passing all the content in this game with my characters, and I'll show you the weapons I have, right? I've leveled up a couple of things here and there because I thought they were very valuable to my team. Uh, let's do it by level instead, but it's not enough to go out of your way to spend your crystals. So I've made automatic, uh, Tifa's limited guide gloves, and everything else is at 110, right? I haven't really need to spend anything. These 110 weapons are more than enough. If you want to pause the video and see what I've done, you guys can kind of copy that, but I go for what helps my teams to push them to be a little bit stronger. Get that next level of ice, fire, right? Having Rage Caller solo his whole entire boost attack, 58 points because 55 is max. Automatics can use on any DPS that's physical because these amazing stats on it. So very stuff like that. Killer Hornet, same idea. Really good tax for um, boost attack and boost ability potency. Just incredible weapons to get to 110, 120. But 120 wise, only two weapons, right? Because 120 is not really necessary. It just gave me a little extra edge in completing certain content. So I ended up doing that. Besides that, I don't think it was really necessary. And I could have got away with just the 110 weapons. But yeah, uh, that draw, I would definitely stay away from it. Wait for the collaboration uh, coming up, right? The crossover, limited banners, new characters, stuff like this. Don't don't worry about these draw systems. They're not really worth it, right? And uh, I think that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it for the entire event. If you guys don't remember and always forget, like I do, co-op shot, probably reset. You probably have a character-specific weapon part over here or the mithril ores and all that. So make sure you guys jump in there and grab that. Besides that, that is an entire thing. Uh, I'm going to give you guys an update on my high wind, uh, where it's at at the moment. This is currently, I'm collecting 24,400 every single one of these. I have upgraded way too much into engine, and that's because I keep forgetting, so I said, screw it. I'm going to do that, so I got that to 32. Propellers are 30, stabilizer 42. Next upgrade is going to give me a 28,000 per one, and to upgrade my high wind to 44 is 1.67 million. So 1,670,000. So high wind's been going pretty smooth, right? Here's all my collectible stuff, what levels they are. 
just guide, give you a general idea of trying, but not trying too hard on the high wind. Right now, I'm only upgrading high wind and then the stabilizer. Back to high wind, stabilizer. So this is going back and forth, and I'm ignoring these two for now because I want to progress really quickly, and I'm getting enough of those uh, upgrade materials. I haven't over boosted anything on my high wind yet. So if you're wondering like, hey, Octo, what did you do? HP, strength, the character one, I'm just saving it until I need it. Just like blue crystals, just like any ingots, right? Uh, mithril ores, I'd save it until I need it. There's no reason to spend it ahead of time because you don't know what you'll need until that time comes, right? Somewhere down the line, I might need more HP, more physical defense, magic defense. Okay, high wind, let's go boost that. So that's a little bit of a tip. Don't spend it if you don't need to because it might be valuable way more than it is now later. Um, <laughs> Battle Tower, I wish I did this on stream last night because I was playing it. I'm like, that's such a cool idea and there's a lot of good rewards there, but it doesn't look too difficult. So that's going to be something nice for you guys. Just get your characters to level 80, do that bomb event, clear the tower, and then have that nice extra strength that's going to help you HP up, attack up, right? It's really, really, really good to see this increase in all this content. But for now, I hopefully I covered everything. If I missed anything, let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll smell you later.